morning, guys, and welcome back to another week of Bible stories on here. I hope you all had an awesome week with your families and you're ready to start a new week. All month last month, we've studied two words that begin with the letter F. Do you guys remember it? If you do, yell it out. Yes, if you said focus and you said faith, you are correct. Um, what is faith? Hmm. Oh, shoot. Do you guys remember what it is? What is faith? What is faith? Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. We've been putting our focus on faith all summer long, and we've got more to unwrap today. Okay, so before we get started with our Bible story, I'm going to read you guys a verse out of Philippians in chapter 4, verse 4. So if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to that um, that chapter. And if you don't, go ahead and grab it really quick and then come right back. Okay, so the Apostle Paul wrote these words in a letter to the church in Philippi. It says, always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. I will say it again, be joyful. We can have joy no matter what because joy comes from our Heavenly Father. That Bible verse that I just shared with you um, was from the letter that Paul wrote to the church in Philippi. In fact, many of the books found in the New Testament are letters that Paul wrote. He wrote them to the new churches that were starting up all over as people heard about Jesus. Paul wrote the letters to encourage the new believers in their growth and faith. Listen to what Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus. This we're going to open up to Ephesians chapter 2 and we're going to read verses 8 through 9. So go ahead and open up your Bibles or you can follow along on, on the screen. So it says, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything that you have done. No one can brag about earning it. There are a few words that Paul used that can be a little bit confusing, like grace, faith, and salvation. So let's break it down together and figure out what he's saying. The truth is that we all mess up, don't we? And we all have moments when we do the wrong things, but sometimes doesn't it seem like everyone else has it all together? It can especially seem that way at church, I think. You see people that come in with their best clothes on and they're on their best behavior and they're talking about how blessed they are. It can really seem like everyone else has everything going just right. Meanwhile, we feel like we're the only ones who mess up, the ones who don't belong among all the people who are doing the right thing. In fact, sometimes we feel like we have um, to make up for what we're doing wrong. We may try to do all the right things, doing our best to earn our way in, into the church or into heaven. And we try our best to deserve God's love. But no matter how much we try to do these things perfectly, it seems like we'll never be perfect. And believe it or not, even though it looks like everyone else is doing it right, they mess up too. The great news is that you don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in. God loves and accepts you no matter what you've done. In fact, in his eyes, you are worth so much. You have great value. You are deeply loved and treasured. You can't work to earn God's love. The beautiful thing about God, about God and his love is that all get it. Everybody gets it. We don't have to earn it. In fact, we can't. God's love and salvation he offers through Jesus is free to everyone who wants to receive it. It's a gift. But why do we need that gift? Hmm. Well, because none of us are perfect. We all mess up. We all sin. Since God is perfect, we needed a savior so that we could have a relationship with him. God loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to come to the world as a baby. And Jesus lived like we do, but he never sinned. When Jesus chose to die on the cross, he paid the price for our sin, and he offered us the gift of salvation. Remember what we read in Paul's letter? Let's open up to Ephesians 2, chapter 2, verses 8 through 9 again. God's grace has saved you because of your faith. 
in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything that you do. It is God's gift. It's not based on anything that you have done. No one can brag about earning it. So what does it mean to have faith in Christ? That just means that we put our trust in him. When we tell him that we're sorry for the things that we've done wrong, and we tell him that we believe that he's God's son and our savior, and we ask him to come into our lives and to show us the right way, we receive his gift of salvation. And once you've done that, that's when do, when the doing the good stuff comes into play. Not because you're trying to make God love you. Remember, he already does. No, we do good things because, because God's love changes us and how we act. And because we want to show others how much God loves them too. And we want others to know that God sent Jesus to be our savior. Jesus is a gift for everyone. When we put our faith in action and live out God's love, we show others how good he is. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this awesome time that we had together, Lord, and for all of the families who are joining um, to learn more about you, God. Please open up our hearts, God, and come in and change our lives, Lord. Thank you for sending your son so that we can have um, one day be with you in heaven, Lord. And please help us throughout this week to show someone um, your love, Lord, and just let us be able to be a light for you, God. Thank you for everything that you do. In God's name we pray, amen. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching another week of Bible stories on here. And I hope to see some of you um, at church today. Bye.